Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the next 5 minutes, I will guide you on creating a custom checkbox using only HTML and CSS. Though it may sound tedious at first, it is quite simple. And I'll guide you step by step into creating this checkbox. So let's dive in. Alright, first off we have a div element with the class wrapper. This div acts as a container for our checkbox and label elements. It helps to keep things organized. We have an input type checkbox followed by a label. As you can see, the id attribute of checkbox corresponds with the for attribute of label. This is really important for the checkbox to work. Now let's move on to CSS. So first we have the wrapper element. The wrapper class is applied to the container div that wraps our checkbox and the label elements. We set the height to 12.5 em and width to 25 em which gives our containers a specific size on the web page. We then use display flex property that allows us to create a flexible layout and align item center and justify content space around help us to center the elements vertically and distribute them horizontally. Now let us move on to input type checkbox selector. This targets our checkbox element specifically. We use appearance none and webkit appearance none to remove the default styling provided by the browser. The height and width are set to 5 em giving our checkbox a square shape. We set the background color to a light gray shade. The border radius of 0.5 em gives it to a slightly rounded corners. The cursor pointer property changes the cursor to a pointer when hovering over the checkbox. Additionally, we use display flex to make the layout flexible. Now the outline is set to none so that while clicking the checkbox, no outline is shown. Coming to label, we set the color to a dark gray color. The font size is set to 3.4 em. We set the font family to Poppins. You can use any font of your choice. The font weight is set to 500, which is by default in our case. And the cursor is finally set to pointer. Now coming to input type checkbox, pseudo element after. Now we need to include the font awesome CDN in our code. For this Google font awesome CDN and click on the first link. Copy the URL. Type link rel is equal to style sheet. And href equal to the URL you have copied before. This includes the CDN in our code. Now if you have to set the font family to font awesome 5 sorry 6 free and content to the icon unicode let us find the icon unicode let's search for check i'll go for this first icon and here we have the unicode click on it to copy use a forward slash paste the unicode Now we set the font weight to 900 as we are using solid icon. Now it is really really important to set the font weight to 900 to make the icon visible. We set the color to white. Now finally we align the check icon to the center of the box. Now we hide the check icon using display property none. Now let's talk about the interactive effects. The input type checkbox hover selector changes the background color to a slightly darker shade of grey when the checkbox is hovered over. You can see this in working. The input type checkbox check selector targets the checkbox when it is checked. We change the background color to a nice shade of blue indicating it is in the checked state. So 
you can see this in working as well lastly the input type checkbox checked after selector sets the display block to make the check mark icon visible when the checkbox is checked setting the display to block and here we go and it works when we click on the label as well and that's it for today's tutorial i hope you found this tutorial useful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more fantastic web development tutorials Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video.